Madam President, I'm really happy we're voting Senator on from this. California. I just want to make a point of personal privilege. We would have been voting on this a long time ago if my Republican friends didn't block the Shaheen Portman bill from being part of a unanimous consent agreement. So let's just stop the hypocrisy that's going on here. We would have had a vote. But no, it's only about big oil and the Koch brothers and all of that. Fine. I'm looking forward to this vote, win or lose, because we had to have it at some point, and I was for having it a long time ago. If we want to grow this energy economy with good jobs, we want to protect our families' health, we want to protect our planet from devastating climate change, the vote is no on the Keystone XL pipeline, which I call extra lethal. And I will tell you, if the President vetoes this, I hope will sustain his veto if it passes today. We should work together for the future, a clean energy future that will can create far more jobs than the 50 permanent jobs even the CEO of the Keystone Pipeline says is the right number. That's how many jobs permanent will be created. I come from a state that is booming with hundreds of thousands of jobs with balanced budgets, clean energy future. And I come from a state that embraced cleaning up the environment and building the economy and jobs. And they go hand in hand. And anyone who tells you that they don't really don't understand anything. And I could tell my friend, he talks about polls. I want to tell him about another poll that he won't like. And that poll is that huge majorities of Americans want the EPA to clean the air, clean the water. They want them to do the job. It's very popular, even though some of my colleagues have tried to undermine the work of the EPA. So why don't we work together on a clean energy future. And if you want to know the way, come to my state. Now, we're looking at millions of jobs all across this nation in clean energy. Now, why vote against this pipeline? We know misery follows this pipeline. That's not rhetoric. Here's Port Arthur, where my friend says the mayor's all for this. Fine. I didn't meet with the mayor. My friend didn't understand. I met with the community leaders who live around here and breathe this stuff. You know, senators and mayors, with all due respect, don't live in these communities. Now, what's in all this black smoke that goes into your lungs if you happen to live there? It is huge amounts of pollution. More sulfur dioxide, far more nitrogen oxide, far more lead. And this is serious stuff. It's not rhetoric, it's fact. There is something called PAHs, which are cancer-causing pollutants. That's proven. We put a peer-reviewed study into the record. I'll show you a picture of petroleum coke. Senators don't live near this either. Neither do mayors in general. Maybe some do. This is what happens after you refine this tar sands oil. It goes to these holding areas and I will tell you what happened in this particular case in Chicago. There was a Little League baseball game going on right near this pet coat. The wind came up, the pet coat blew around, and this is a direct quote from the newspaper. Quote, kids that were playing ball just had to get the heck out of there because all this stuff was going into their eyes and their mouth. For what, 50 jobs? 50 jobs and a lot of profit in the pocket of the people who own the tar sands? Well, honestly, what is in the national interest? I will just close with this. I would ask for 30 seconds additional. Without objection. I want to show you a picture of a little girl. And she has on, uh, over her face, an oxygen mask. And I am telling you, Madam President, as sure as I'm standing here, when the nurses stood with me and the public health doctors stood with me and they said, you know what, let's be very careful here because this pipeline is going to unleash 45% more of the dirtiest, filthiest oil. And that's why I call it the Keystone Extra Lethal Pipeline. And I hope we won't vote it up today. I hope we'll vote it down. I hope the president will veto it if it passes. And I will be on my feet because I came here to protect people like this. Thank you, and I yield the floor.